Hello, I'm Ross Bishop, President of Brightline Bags. Welcome to the Flex System Overview. The Flex System is a collection of five different modules and four different pockets that are all interchangeable. This allows you to build an almost unlimited number of configurations to suit your needs. And then as your needs change, you can reconfigure the bag according to the things that you need to carry. The result is a truly amazing gear management system. So let's show you the Flex System. Now it all started with the original Brightline bag. This bag was introduced five years ago and the response was enthusiastic to say the least. Users all over the world have told us that this is the best bag they've ever owned. So we took res uh, feedback and responses and suggestions over the past several years and we designed the Flex system. Now we did a, a fair number of things. This is the equivalent bag from the original bag to the Flex system bag. First of all, notice that we redesigned the front panel. The front panel has been simplified so that we did things like taking the two original horizontal pockets and combining them into one universal pocket, but there's also still separate access for the fuel tester to keep it separate from everything else. And then we took the bottom two pockets and combined them into one universal pocket, but also gave separate access for the Leatherman tool as well. Another thing that you'll notice is that this bag's slightly larger so that there's a certain, num certain number of things that actually fit a little bit better. And then we also change the interior. The interior is now gray. The big benefit of this is that this allows you to see things that are inside the bag more clearly and find things more quickly. We did one other in interesting small thing, which is the pen pockets that are on the side of the bag on the outside. This is actually a pen slot. We turned this into an actual pocket. So this bag, just in of itself, is even more useful than it ever was. But obviously, we've gone far beyond that now. Now, the, the scenarios that began to evolve as a result of the original bag was we had a, quite a number of customers who told us, uh, we love the way this bag works. Um, I, as a particular user, need to carry all of these things plus a little bit more. Now, we know that this particular bag all of the Brightline bags unzip, and that's always been a great feature of the Brightline bag all along. So now, we have first of all designed a new 5 inch center section. The 5 inch center section allows you then to just zip this in between and add more space to your bag. Now the big benefit of this, of course, is obviously beyond just having more space and more storage, you don't now uh, have to repack or reorganize any of the things that are already in your bag, in your front bag, in your rear bag. That allows you to um, go on to your next mission without having to, to reload and repack. So now you just get more storage and keep it all your original organization. Now we know that the handle moves, so we can clip this into the handle here. And now we end up with a nice larger bag to carry all that additional stuff. Uh, we also, of course, have a shoulder strap. The shoulder strap's been redesigned. It's curved. It fits your shoulder. And so this is a great way. It clips into all these buckles that are available on the bag system. I'll set that aside. Now, this new 5-inch center section, I'm going to go ahead and move the handle back to the front here. You need to get to stuff that's inside the 5-inch center section, and that's done through the top. So I can certainly open up the top of the bag and access the things that are inside there. Now, we can use a uh, divider shelf in this section like we've done with the front bag, but if I do that, I can't get to things that are below the divider shelf. So we made it so that this zipper continues, and so does this one, and that gives us access through the side of the bag as well. So this dual access is a very unique feature of the 5-inch center section. Now, the other thing that happened is as soon as we built this new module, we realized, of course, that there is a new space for new pockets. So the question becomes, what, what pockets do we add? Do we take the pen pocket and put another one like that? Do we take the original radio pocket and put another one like that? And we realized that no matter what we would do, we'd probably make the wrong choice for a lot of our users. So we decided to leave it up to you. So we designed, first of all, the fact that these pockets are now interchangeable and removable. And you wouldn't know it just by looking at it. They don't look removable, which is a key feature that we've designed in there by purpose. But it turns out they're actually very solidly connected. I can pick up the whole bag by the pocket. It doesn't come off. But it's very easy to just go to the bottom, lift the Velcro flap, pull the second flap down, and then the whole pocket just comes right off. 
So, uh, and then in addition, if you decide to carry your bag without external pockets, you wouldn't want this Velcro catching on things. So we've got these little flaps that just cover over and make it so that the bag doesn't catch on things. So we have these two pockets, so we started designing other pockets as well. So the first one we designed was a smaller pocket that looks similar to the radio pocket, except this one has two chambers, a half height chamber and a second chamber down below for, for example, a smaller radio instead of a very large radio. And then there's another uh, chamber down below here for batteries or other small objects there. To put these pockets on, it's actually very simple. You just open up the Velcro and there's sides and top. There's kind of a stiff flap, and we just take this into the webbing here, slide it right through. Then you just lay this all down, and then we just go here in the bottom, and we just lift the flap, and put the Velcro on the bottom, and cover that up. And now the pocket is on there, and you have a completely formed and fitted pocket. Now, that's one example of a pocket. We designed another one. Why couldn't you have a pocket that looks like this? Now this is actually a double wide pocket. It actually has two mounting bay slots and that actually would work over here. If this pocket is actually able to mount across between the two bays and be on the side of the bag like this. So this greatly expands the type of things that you can put on the outside of the bag. So now we have four different pockets that you can pick from to uh, decide how you want to carry stuff on the outside of the bag. So that was one scenario that occurred. The next scenario was um, uh, a good number of our users said, okay, um, I do need to carry more stuff, but I don't need to carry a little more stuff, I need to carry a lot more stuff. So we designed a larger center section. So here is the 11 inch. This is the 11 inch center section. So the same exact scenario, you take this and zip it right on here. So let's do that. And again, the big benefit, like I say, is the fact that you can just add space. You don't have to unpack and repack. You don't have to reorganize your bag. You've already got it exactly the way you like it. And you can just greatly increase the amount of space that you have available. Now the handle, of course, needs to move. So we take the handle off and we just actually turn it 90 degrees and there's clips on top here. So now you end up with a nice duffel bag. Of course, the shoulder strap is going to clip into all these other buckles as well. And then there's also a place here, there's a side pocket, but then we put a zipper at the bottom so that you can actually put the telescoping handles of your suitcase. We also have a folding cart that will allow you to use wheels with this bag. Then, of course, access to this bag is through the top and you'll just be able to fill this up with uh, documents, clothing, you could put a week's worth of stuff in here, um, food, all kinds of gear would go in here. So that was the next scenario in terms of carrying a lot more stuff and keeping everything organized. So then I'm going to put this handle back onto the front. There was another uh, Another series of users who said, all right, I, uh, I like the original bag and I carry that a lot and the thing that would suit me the most is to be able to simply add my computer. In other words, I want to continue to carry um, everything in the front bag and the rear bag, but now I would like to just add my computer. So we now also have a two inch center section. So when you add this in, you have the ability to carry all your original gear this particular section is designed to hold um, any 13 inch laptop. So anything bigger than that won't fit, but a 13 inch laptop, um, any of the tablet computers like the iPad, and uh, documents. <clears throat> you could put any number of things in here, of course. It also, of course, has its own clips to move so you can center the handle. And then for access, it has its own set of zippers to go inside to, uh, to reach whatever gear that you put inside there. Now. There's another scenario that begins to occur, which is, what about the situation where I, I like everything that's in my front bag? This is, this is kind of the centerpiece. Of, this is the, the hub of most of my flex systems, is this front bag, because it has all the small pockets on front for organizing all my small gear. Let's say I go somewhere and I've arrived, and I discover that I don't need to carry all of my documents or gear that's in the rear bag. I'd like to leave this behind and carry just my front bag and my computer. 
Well, that's fine, except for now what you end up with is that your separations up here on the back is kind of exposed and it looks kind of bad. So we designed the rear end cap. This is simply just a, like the rear panel of the rear bag, and it zips right on here. Now this does uh, three things. First of all, it finishes the bag and makes the bag look more finished and professional. Second, it protects the zipper. And third, it gives you another place to store more stuff, more papers, more documents. Your iPad, of course, will fit anywhere in here. And so that's a great solution to uh, carrying your primary gear plus your computer. Now, uh, another thing you could do, you might decide that you want to carry just the computer. Well, that's fine, but now I'm losing all of these pockets that are on the front. And I love all the small pockets. So we designed the front end cap. So clearly, this is going to go directly onto the front of the bag. And we end up with a really nice computer bag. Because it's a really small size, but it's very efficient carries and organizes all my stuff on the outside of the bag for all my mouse, my uh, cords and cables, my digital camera, my thumb drives, all the accessories that go with my computer. There is a handle here, but obviously you'll be able to take the main handle and clip it right into these guys. But what about one additional step? We can even take the front end cap off, take the rear end cap off. As you might imagine, it turns out we can take these two parts and zip them together. The result here is a, a nice little tiny bag that we call a portfolio. This is great for carrying just your tablet computer, some basic papers, and all of your little cords and accessories. Now the problem with this little bag is that there's no handle. It's a little awkward to carry. So we designed a handle. Now this handle actually, you wouldn't know this until you get to this point, but there are actually, and it's hard to see on the, on the video, but there are two little loops right here on the side of the bag. And you can actually take this handle and thread these right in here. I, I won't do it in the video, but I can actually thread these right in here and then carry the bag right by the handle. I've actually even put these same two loops up here in the top so you can also carry it this way. So that ends up being a really nice small portfolio bag just to take some stuff on the fly. So what you see here then is the Flex system. Uh, a great collection of modules and components and pockets that allow you to build an almost unlimited number of bag configurations. Now we've uh, created five pre-configurations, five standard configurations for you on the website. You'll see those. They range from small size to large size. Those are great as starting points and they probably suit most of your needs. But you can also go in and pick individual components and build any bag that you particularly want. It'll also be nice to begin out, start out with some manner of some number of pieces of the flex system you can always come back later and order more pieces and add as your needs change we hope you have fun putting together a flex system of your own thanks for watching the flex system overview